Yo, 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 what's up, people? This is Baby and Frank Crowley reporting live, and today we're back again with another episode. Today we're covering the cypher pattern, where people are going to come in and cypher on the hip-hop, rap beats, and rhythm melodies. I'm joking, guys. Today we're covering the cypher pattern, which is one of the patterns in the advanced, or considered as harmonic patterns. So, Fibonacci retracement is one of the tools all these patterns use to measure the levels, the percentage that take profit target, that break even target or retracement target, you know. So the cypher pattern was designed as a day swing trading strategy. It was originally discovered on a 60 minute chart that has since been identified on a virtually any time frame. So this pattern was discovered on a one hour chart, which is 60 minutes. The tactics for the cypher pattern are very similar to other well-known advanced patterns like the Godly Butterfly. With the cypher pattern, we seek to identify four market moves and three major Fibonacci uh, zones. The combination of these moves form five points X, A, B, C, D that fulfill the pattern. So you can see the X, A, B, C, D. So rules of engagement. The cipher pattern begins with the market movement impulse leg that establishes XA points. One XA point have been identified. We then look at our first criteria. The market forms the B completion point by fulfilling at least 88.2% retracement of the XA leg. So you see, guys, the in this case, the Fibonacci retracement, it the Fionic retracement tool, it works efficiently with every person as long as you know how to use it. So the AB move remains valid as long as there is the 8.2 retracement of XA and there is not a candle close beyond 61.8 retracement of XA. So the candle mustn't close beyond the 61.8% retracement. It must not it must close above the 61.8. So the bleak completion point candle we can extend beyond 61.8 retracement of a of xa as long as the candle does not close beyond 61.8 retracement of xa in criteria two criteria one is we made then look out for criteria two the market forms the c completion point fulfilling at least 127.2 extension of xa leg so in this case guys instead of it retracing back Further down, it went up, so it created a motive wave which went up to the upside. So the note, the C point remains valid as long as there is at least 127.2 extension of, of XA leg. There is not a candle close beyond 141.4 extension of XA. In a very busy move, there must be a candle close beyond the beyond the A value, failure to achieve a candle close beyond A invalidates the move. This would be considered a double top or bottom which has no relevance in the market. Oh, to this person, <laughs> my bad. So if criteria two, one and two are met, then look out for criteria three. The market forms a decompletion entry point by fulfilling 78.6 level Retracement of the distance XE. So from C it went back down to D, covering or fulfilling 78.6 retracement of the XC distance. In a valid BC move, a 78.6 retracement of XCD completion, D, I mean D completion point must exceed the CB. So hence it went back to 78.6. Uh, level because it was from 127 point 127.2 uh, percent retracement back to 78.6 uh, retracement so this is what they mean that it must exceed the cb leg so you get the idea guys if ever you don't, just comment in the uh, comment section below the cyber pattern trade management Entry, stop, and target. Entry, limit order, place at a decompletion point. 78.6% of XC. So when I say limit order, I'm just going to 
clear it out for people so limit order is a pending order you said in the market so in this case when they say limit order plays a decompletion before the market went back to oh limit order plays at a decompletion point 78.6 level so from the market let's go back to the previous slide we can see from the cd leg it was a sell right from from c to d it was a sell so by the time it reaches d the limit order i've set is a what is a buy limit because it is approaching my price and i know once it approaches my price i want to be in without even knowing that i'm in so i said it before it before price is even there so as time as the price is heading down to d i set my order okay buy at 78.6 level and it opens as a buy limit which is an order they they clarifying here in the slide the limit order is a buy limit and then the target will be the 8.2 retracement of cd leg when attained stops moves to break even so stops your stop loss you move it from the red side from the losses side to the profit side so to break even means stop loss and profit 61.8 retracement of cd leg is target two so the target one is the 8.2 uh, target two is the eight point. I mean six one point eight. So I think we're done here, guys. In the next video, we'll be covering the bear pattern. Please like, subscribe, share, and click the notification bell so we can share all this knowledge. If ever you want this PDF, I can send it to you for free. Just text DM and all will work out. Don't forget to subscribe. Make sure if you text me, you you are a subscriber. If not. You're going to have to subscribe first before getting this PDF. So, baby and friend reporting live. See you in the next video. Hey.